Welcome viewers, Patchyville, St Julian's, nightlife, what's it like? It's just about midnight, we're going to start slowly, quiet, and then it's going to get a lot livelier, I can promise you viewers. We will take a right up here, and I'll show you all the bars, restaurants, clubs, and it will be the truth viewers, this is the truth here. Quite a nice place, you get the shisha pipes out, quite relaxed in there. Quite a nice vibe actually here, quite relaxed compared to around the corner. Uh, a lot of these supermarkets, something late here as well. Burger King, Gentleman's Club at the top. Pre warning if you're coming here, you're going to need to inspect us in this area. Um, it's only really the one wee strip. Quite a nice wee bar here again. These wee bars are quite chilled out compared to the ones around the corner. Let's go and check it out. There's a lot of hotel and apartments I've noticed um, round about here. So if you're probably 18 to 30 and you're staying here, then you want to stay somewhere like that. What's that called? ICAT Hotel. Uh, yeah, there's lots of hotels right bang on the strip here. Location A, so you don't have far to walk home. By a distance, if you're probably of younger age group and you're coming to Malta, this is where all the nightlife is. There is a few, obviously, bars and other places like uh, Bugiba and stuff like that, but I think as a, as a young person, this is the place you're going to want to come probably and do. So, let's take a wee wander. Flashing lights going on all over the place. There's some lovely hotels around here as well. It's quite strange because there's some really nice four and five star hotels right next to all the action here. So it's a bit unusual. Uh, we've got the Long Hall Irish pub here. Um, I don't know really know how much Irish it is to be honest with you. Um, I was inside, it's a lovely pub inside. They used to do live music before the pandemic, but they've stopped doing that. I don't know if they'll ever come back, we'll wait and see. We've got Peppermint Park there as well. A few other wee clubs and bars down there, but we're going to head down to the busier bit down here. Let's see how busy it is. White Palace Club there as well. And we're going to end up down the steps. Now at one point, I'm probably going to have to start speaking over the music because it's going to get really, really loud down here. You won't believe how loud it's going to get actually. <laughs> I was here a couple of hours ago, it was quite busy. It's got a wee bit busier, but it's not manic busy, but it's, it's midweek, bear in mind. Um, but they've got a variety of stuff here, we've got the Sahara Lounge up there as well. We've got a few um, dancing clubs, the left hand side didn't really show them that much. Open hours 6 to 8, new place in there, we've got the shisha pipes there as well. Club class. Let's continue, we've got the Havana Club on the left hand side. Be vigilant here, look, see what I've done there, be vigilant. <laughs> An ATM right outside in case you need any money. I might come in handy. Footloose, Kerry Logan's favourite in there. Fun bar, Footloose. There's not any bars with live music here. I've, I've done my rounds trying to see if there's any live music. It's all DJs. It's really all aimed at the younger age group. So, a wee bit of a clique here. Access to the underground. <laughs> as you can see, Cleek Club, Club H, Havana, and a wee Cuba place there as well. So, there's quite a lot going on here, as you can see. I've no idea how much it has to get in, um, I didn't really check. I was approached by a few people earlier on, um, asking me to go in places, but obviously I just says no. Now, there is the Passion Club, and above it is the Shadow Club. We're going to go down the steps now. It's going to get probably a bit busier when we go down here as well. Do the Nomads go? Can you watch your step here? Let's continue. A lot of these bars have got a uh, live sports on them everywhere. A lot of TVs on, it's quite good that way. Again, another uh, LGBT IQ plus. There you go, something for everybody here. The gentleman's Club next door. An ATM, you're definitely going to need that if you get in there, probably. Let's continue. Hello, hello. <laughs> right. That's a flow bar there as well. Special offers, buckets of beer, there we go. Let's continue. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. So I don't know if you caught that there, but the girl was... She wasn't happy about me filming, I wasn't filming her. She actually turned the camera around. So anyway. Let's continue viewers. You never know what you expect in these uh, wee videos down, down here. 
Hold on, I need to try and fix the camera, it's a bit squinty. <laughs> it's got busy here, eh? So that's the uh, native bar, quite busy in there as well. Bear with me, try and fix the camera. Okay, so the camera nearly came off the gimbal there. Yeah. Pretty lively, it's busy here. It's a bit weird, the girl was shouting me over, I wasn't filming it, and then she was, then she was annoyed. I was filming. Angels, again. I'll just show you as it is for us, okay? It's aimed at the young ones. Predominantly guys, I'd say that strip to be honest with you. Although there is obviously a couple other places. A wee speakeasy up here, it's a lovely bar up here. Just a wee um, rooftop bar, quite nice. My hotel is just down here, we might go down there in a wee second actually. Hugo's pub's really nice inside actually. I'm not quite sure. Should we get down there or not? I don't know. I got there. Casino's up there. I might go up there and lose some money. Tempted to go up there, viewers. We might see. Um, let's continue. That's a, the Bay Shopping Centre. I've done a wee video earlier on in there. Most of the shop, they'll all be shutting out this time at midnight. Uh, you know that anywhere that's got boxing machines is aimed at young people. 